Howdy, Parker, partners. Welcome on in to another uh, Voice of Nick live stream. We's going to be playing more Red Dead Redemption here. And uh, let's see what we can find in the Old West. We got a whole bunch of cowboys uh, domestic life to be checking out. So let's see what we can find. Guys, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over no story or cutscene moments, but there is what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they done played it before. If you want to see more of what's happening on this here channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Red Dead Redemption. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that there follow button. Up top, you see that follower goal of 10. We's currently at six, I believe, so he's getting there, partners. The 30th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. That one is called Surviving Your First 10 Streams, and it's going to help you to get through some of the toughest streams you'll probably ever do as a streamer. Now, if y'all don't know the uh, Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of y'all in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already got one. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, uh, the YouTube channel has its second Danganronpa episode on there. That one is a YouTube exclusive. So uh, that entire playthrough series is, by the way. So make sure you're subscribed up on the YouTube channel, exclamation mark YouTube in that there chat, and uh, check out those Danganronpa episodes for yourself, partners. Those are uh, not going to appear on Twitch ever. They're only on YouTube. They come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. So as opposed to these streams that you see here where you don't necessarily know which game is going to happen when, those Dog and Rompa streams you know is going to come out every other day on that there YouTube channel. So make sure you get uh, ready for those and make sure that you are following along with those because they is a whole lot of fun. There's a bunch of episodes already uh, ready to go on that one. And I can say with certainty that game is a heck of a lot of fun, partners. Now let's jump on into the old west here. See what we can do. Here we go. Let's go. Looks like we got three different missions here. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Mm, very funny, Paul. <laughs> I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. It's weird that they has the exact same walking pattern. They're like matching each other motion for motion right here. <laughs> like robots. Maybe they are robots. Who knows, partners? How should I know whether or not Marston's a robot? Moving. Honestly, it's his business. Come on, let's go! Follow the dog, Rufus. What do you find, 
something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Come on. Oh, you can't do the, uh... Come on, you can't hold the A button to make it go. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. But I'm gonna try and make up for that. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, huh? Yippee? Jack, he's on to something. Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Pop. I've heard them all before. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yard to me. Look, oh. I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. All right, partners. Let's give it our best shot. We don't want to embarrass ourselves in front of the boy. Where's the dang thing? There it is. Come on! I thought it was gonna get away! That was great, huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Woo! it. That's a big one! This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Oh, what were you eating? Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Oh wait, which one's my horse? This Go ain't on, my Rufus. horse. Sniff us out a couple more. Go on, Rufus. Or is it? Which one's my horse? That one? I thought the other one was. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, yet. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Go find him, Rufus. Let's go. You can find him, Rufus. Go on, Rufus. Find him. What is it, Rufus? Get after him, boy. Easy. Look, they're over there. That's it, son. Come on. Got him. Let's go. Isn't we supposed to be letting Jack do it? Oh, I think he did do it. There Good job, go. Jack. Dang it, this thing keeps moving. Let's go. It's also weird that Jack has that kind of bow-legged gait, because he ain't really a cowpoke.
Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Well, good for him. We done help Jack feel better. That's nice. Come on. Let's go. I wonder if that guy is still at Manzanita. I don't I don't know. Cuz there was that one guy who was like at Manzanita Post who made the tools, remember in uh Red Dead Redemption uh, 2. Let's find out, partners. Come on. All right, here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Maybe he's that guy over there. Let's go say howdy. No, that's a lady. Good evening, my dear. Hello there, Mr. Marston. This is the area where the guy was originally. Wow, this is a nice uh, shop they got here. Look at that. Well, this definitely ain't the same guy. They always do. Howdy. Well, let's see what you got. Huh? So we can purchase stuff from him? Oh no, this is the stuff that we can buy or sell. Not available. Rabbit's foot survivalist map. Can buy some throwing knives. I saw the prettiest girl the other day. She was leaving, unfortunately. Oh well. Are we in Canada? This guy sounds pretty Canadian to me, partners. Let's find out here. Hold on. We're just gonna I do this. We're gonna buy this. Can't buy the rabbit's foot. I think we already have that. Oh, well, let's see what we can do for you. Elk meat and pelt. I think it's just the pelts that we sell. Thank you. That's all I got for you right now. Pretty soon they'll be introducing more comfortable trains. Just the well all done. Let's head home. Dang, I can't read that. That's the kind of thing in Red Dead Redemption 2 that I would sit there and look at. I'd actually try and read the uh, signs. But you can't read them in this one. You need that first person mode, partners. Come on. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple of days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That ain't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. You enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk, growing up, proud of it. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. 
She said you were very brave. Come on. I always get nervous when they have conversations near the objective point. Because I don't want to have them and interrupt it. So much fun. I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Five AM and six PM. We can do the Abigail mission, I believe. Easy. Oh, this one too, huh? Alright, well, let's get to bed then. Uncle's mission ain't even there. That's strange. Alright, let's wait until daytime. This don't seem to be daytime. That's such a weird mechanic, like that they didn't figure that out. That like, what if you just jump time forward when you do the mission? Instead, it's like you have to go home and wait until the thing is ready to go. It's kind of a weird, it's weird that they made like eight games without figuring that out. Shooting partners. Howdy, gone. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past fifteen years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. Be honest though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Scat. Shh. Scare the crows out of the silo. Can I actually shoot all these dang crows? I can try my best. I don't know if we're really supposed to kill him or just scare him, but hey, when you got dead eye meat, might as well use it, partners. I'm just gonna eat some snake oil and keep doing this. I like this. <laughs> Here we go. Crow killing time.
Oh, I ain't got no bullets left, partners. Wasted them all on a dang bunch of crows. You ain't touching that there, Sila. Get out of there, crow. Oh, we got to eat more snake oil. I'm just marking every dang crow in the land. I don't care. I'm a gunslinger. Yeah, partners. Finally. Now about that stew. I'm a dang old crow exterminator. Holy. That was quite something, ladies and gents. Wow. Hey, Sassy Wolf coming in with the cheer. Thank you to Sassy Wolf for the cheer. And welcome on into the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark howdy for Sassy joining the show. Let's get a cheer message in here as well. Welcome in, Sassy. Let's get a cheer voice right now. How about this? And My name is Barn Crow Barry. I'm a crow who likes to sit on top of a barn and Marston tries to shoot at me. But I got a special mirror in front of my face. So whenever he's about to shoot at me, I just uh, put up that mirror and he says, oh no, I can't shoot it myself because he sees himself in, in the mirror. So then he don't want to shoot me no more. It's been working out pretty well, but I'm starting to wonder how long that's going to actually last, how long that's going to work for. Otherwise, I just sit on top of this here barn and I read my favorite novel. It's called A Crow's Life, 7-10 Split. It's about a crow who bowls, uh, who's like a bowling champion. And it's... Um, he also has telekinetic powers because he has to be able to pick up the bowling ball. Crows ain't got no fingers. If you didn't notice, they can't pick, put their fingers in the ball sprockets. So uh, that's what I read about most of the time. That's like an 80 book trilogy. It's a trilogy that has 80 books in it. Don't ask me how that works. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's a uh, crow, uh, barn crow Barry. Barn crow Barry. Thank you, Sassy Wolf, for the cheer. It is highly appreciated, partner. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a voice of Nick Boy straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers 100 or more will get a voice of Nick Voice, a brand new voice of Nick Voice, straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, verse, verse. Thank you, Sassy, for the cheer. It is highly appreciated, partner. We now have new cheer leaderboards here in third place, Meat Computer with 100 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Meat Computer. Second place is Sassy Wolf with 215 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Sassy Wolf. First place is Space Dust with 300 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Space Dust. Thank you to everybody who supports these here streams. It is highly appreciated. Welcome on in, Sassy Wolf. What was your favorite thing you done did today? What was your favorite thing? John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. 
And John, what's she like? Well, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. It's a good line. Sassy Wolf, working on that there Minecraft village. Nice, partner. John, wait! It sounds exciting. Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on, man. Uh oh. We're on a timer now. Here we go. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal Whoa. as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life, anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland. I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered.
have some kind of intentions. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marshall. That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? A life to cry for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. It's a pleasant ride and all, but I'd like to get back sometime today. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change, but we gotta try for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe. Normal, even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. John, I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Well, all right. He's helping Bonnie, he's helping Jack, he's doing all sorts of stuff here. Let's go say hi to Uncle now. Complete the, uh, the, the trilogy, trilogy, trinity, the holy trinity, that's what I was thinking of. Your family member is not here right now, come back later. Well, I guess we ain't completing that there trinity. Oh wait, here he comes. Hey uncle, get over here. There we go. That's right. Good stuff. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up. Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. And you always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. 
It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. Do this together. Dang. You know, Uncle helped you build your dang old house, Marston. What the heck? See, I knew my horse wasn't that other one. This is my horse. I knew it. In that mission with Jack, he was using my horse and I was using his. We'll never get these cows to pass. All right, you stay front. All right, cows. Why does it say out? Oh, okay. Come on, let's get him out to pasture. So we can look at the cows. That's pretty useful. Now I don't have to keep the camera pointed. Hey, where do you think you're going, cow? I don't think so. Go. Move it up. No, 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 no! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You're a sorry bunch of wannabes! You shut up and stay here! What you think you're doing, partner? That was pretty good, Marston. But where'd the cows go? Let's go. Uh oh. Oh, there they is. There's right on the train tracks. Hope there ain't another train coming. All right, Uncle. Hero return. They don't know how lucky they are. Shut it, old man. Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. Give them stragglers a kick up the ass. I feel like Marston's a little too harsh on Uncle most of the time. Uncle was complimenting him right there. Why does it say 14 out of 15? Come on. Is there another cow somewhere? Yeah. Maybe we lost one. Come on, easy up now. Whoa.
Yeah, I think we done lost Keep one. your pound of flesh from me today. Wait, now what? How are we bringing these cows back? Yeah. Well, I guess uh, they's gonna die. <laughs> the wronged woman. We got a new mission there. So anybody could just up and, and rustle these here cattle. There ain't nothing we could do about it. I don't know the first thing about herding cattle, partners. Let's go talk to the wrong woman. Is that our cow? No, that's a horse. I might have done shot our cow by accident. Let's just uh, leave it. If I don't look at the corpse, I won't know if it was my fault or not. Schrodinger's cow. Now, what is going on through here? Is this black water? I think it is. Looks like it. Oh yeah, this was the person they said to come back later. Hello, ma'am. Oh. My condolences. Oh, my dear Harold, I can't believe he's gone. I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. The death of him. Oh, Harold Thornton, I miss you. I see. I heard that Doc Trollope Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't understand how strangers can be so cruel. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Take care. Dang. back on over. Gonna say hi to Uncle and Jack. What is they up to right now? Oh, this is a mission. Whoops. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. <laughs> 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 
Are you gonna man up, kid? Here we go. My favorite mini game in this. Breaking them horses. All right, let's get after them. Let's see how many tries it takes me this time. Partners, we is gonna need some hearts for this. Yeah. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened? What were you, you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on, I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Let's go. Whoa there. I see him. Come on. He's gonna get ourselves a wild horse. Here we go. Relax. I got you now. There you go. Calm it down. Almost got it. That's it. God got damn it. Now, John. Come on. That's it, partners. First try. Can we get some hype for that one? Hey! Oh man, I gotta do it again? Alright. Well, let's try and keep this streak going, partners. Dang. Alright, here we go. We could do this, we could do this. Uh, hey horse, I can't get on you. Quiet, old man. If you got one more left, you you shut that Let's go. You got it. Lean into it. Calm down you now. Need, woman. Oh shit! Come on. Now. Come on, nearly got you. <laughs> shut the hell up. Easy. Dang, this thing is really... Dang it, partners. This don't go well. Ain't no horse who can't be rode. Ain't no man who can't be thrown. Oh, this ain't good. Relax now. Nearly there. Come on, come on, come on. Don't fall off. Here we go. Lean into it. Come on, baby. Calm down. Careful. That's a You really ain't helping. This don't feel too good. Showing who's boss. Steady. That's it. There we go, partners. Good stuff. Mount back up, you fool. Go on. Oh man, we gotta do another one. He's right there. Stop talking, damn it. Alright. Third time. We've got this, partners. We got this. Dang it all. Hold on. Quiet, old man. Get back on your horse. 
Did we get it? Oh no. Get after another one. You'll never catch him on foot. All right, here we go. Get horse. Come on. Get us another one. Damn, that one was no good. Hold tight now. I gotta admire that he well hung on to that there horse. Even after he fell over. For a second at least. Here we go. One of these has got to... Come on, Marston! Oh, there's one behind us. And I still can't get it. Partners, come on! I hate how the horse waits and then starts bolting right after you get up. Trying to listen to your uncle. Catch him on foot. Go on. Get after Stop talking, one. damn it! God, I hate I'm this mini game. Get us your lip, for Christ's sake! All right, horses. One of you is coming with me. Taking no for an answer this time. Get over here. Oh, 
Come on, Marston. Don't fall off. That's it. God damn it. That's it, partners. Holy. Finally. Yeah, you're right about that, Uncle. Bring her over here. I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ramp. Uh, that was something. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask me. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was, why have you been hiding it all these years? You act like I never do anything. I do plenty. Come on. Whoa, Make sure whoa. there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Let's go. New items are available. Nice, partners. Good stuff. Any side missions around? Don't see nothing. Come back tomorrow between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. It is currently, what, like a little bit after 6, I guess. Alright, I guess we gotta sleep twice then. Give it another one. And here we go. Let's do it. John, how are you? Howdy, Jack. Howdy, partner. I'm here, partner. I'm here. Let's go. They have to come back. There we go. Tense enough. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. All right, this one's mine. We know that now. Come on, the dog will soon sniff them out. Yeah. I can shoot. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. 
Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Whoa. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. Come on, we can't huh? stop now. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start and have to be finished. Hey. Jack, you found a scent. There we go. Come. Stay close, Jack. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? You're gonna land us oh, in the dirt. Out Why do you want to know? Well, it just sounds like a good story, that's all. It really ain't. He died in a bar fight. At least, that's what they told me. Cards or women? <laughs> I ain't sure. Probably both. Definitely liquor. Drank like a camel after a long walk. Uncle says those fights are caused by poker or women. Well, he'd know, that's for sure. <laughs> Tom, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. You can't be tired already. Look, son. He sniffed him out. Yeah. That's pretty impressive, partner. Watch yourself now, son. They might turn on us. Yeah. It's off on the trigger now. There it is. I gotta get out of the dang bushes. I can't see nothing. This is what you get for stealing our cash. That's a good kill. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. I'll get him. Not Rufus. Come on. You can't stop now. Here we go. Come on, Marston. Load your dang gun. Where are you going, Rufus? Let's go. Come on. Here we go. We got them good, Paul. That ain't all the pack. There's got to be more around here. Wait, let me catch up. Slow up. Come on, boy. I wonder if that's the same uh, Tanner guy who we can buy all the hides from in Red Dead Redemption 2. Slow it up now. Whoa there. Oh, dang I see it. him. Let's go. How do I get down there though? Look out! Go. There we go. Whoa. Come on. What have I not got no uh, dead eye meter? Steady, Jack! What are you doing? Uh oh. Jack! 
he's off our horse now. This ain't no good. Probably shouldn't be doing it like this. Remember what I told you. That's it. It looks like all of them. Nice work, Jack. We can't do this on foot, can we? All right. We should head back now. We got out further than I thought. Whoa. Are you going to mount back up? Come on. Now? How many do we kill? They won't be after our cattle for a while. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, oh, please, huh? We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. I reckon I could kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, yes, sir, I hear you. Why are you riding so far behind us, Jack? I can hardly hear you, dang it. Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No, and I guess I've been both, but that's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. But sometimes it ain't pretty, and in the end, we pay the price for what we did. There you go. Come on. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. One arm Willie, that was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just <laughs> imagine it, though. You're on a jack marshal. But one in men in the way. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I was only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Whoa. Slow up. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Partners, that is going to do it for Red Dead Redemption today. Thank you, everybody, for joining the show. Let's get a raid going. We're going to get that raid message in the chat. Make sure you get that copied down. Meatball Marauders are here to party. Or you can write in the uh, glorious Meatball Raid message if you can't copy-paste on the device you're watching on. Whichever one you choose, make sure you put it in the next stream we join. It is highly appreciated when you do, partners, and when you actually post that raid message in the stream that we join, it is highly appreciated. So make sure you do that. If and you don't know the channel you're watching, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over no story or cutscene moments, but there is what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game whether or not they played it before. If you all want to see which games is being played on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Red Dead Redemption. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. You can see up top that follow goal of 10. We is currently at uh, 6, I believe, so we is getting there, partners. The 30th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. That one is called Surviving Your First 10 Streams, and that is going to help you to get through some of the toughest streams you'll probably ever do on your channel. 
Now, if y'all don't know the uh, Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all y'all in this community. Either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already got one. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch playbook. Or you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. The uh, second episode of the Rampa playthrough series is out on the YouTube channel right now. That is, once again, a YouTube exclusive. You can't find that on the Twitch. So make sure you're subscribed on the YouTube, ladies and gents, exclamation mark YouTube in the chat. You'll see the Rampa playthrough on there as well. Uh, that one is uh, coming out every other day. So that's every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday uh, at 11 o'clock a.m. So you can know that they're going to come out at the same time every single time. Now, if you like the uh, channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing, partners. You'll get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the highest mini games, and ad free streams. Subscribers also get the sub badge, which upgrades with their subscription. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we got nobody. On the cheer leaderboards this week, we got in third place, Meat Computer with 100 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Meat Computer. Second place is Sassy Wolf with 215 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Sassy Wolf. Second, first place is Space Dust with 300 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Space Dust. Thank you to everybody who supports these here streams. It is highly appreciated. You is directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking the streams you see in front of you, whether it is creating and posting content that goes on the social channels, whether it is adding and updating things on the wiki or Discord, whether it is writing, recording, posting all the Twitch playbook entries, all that stuff, partners, is in large part thanks to all y'all for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does that. It's very highly appreciated, partners. Now let's see if we can find a channel to raid here. The way we do raids on this here channel is that we always raid somebody who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series. So uh, as not to see any information about games that we is currently playing or any games that we is planning on playing in the future. So let's see what we can find here. See if we can't uh, jump into another uh, channel who's doing something cool. We got, uh, oh some people is doing Dark Souls 3. That is a good one, but we ain't on that one yet. so. We ain't going to be able to join that. Somebody's doing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That is very nice, but we also cannot join that one neither. We could join a little bit of a couple of things here. We got some, okay. I think I see a couple of potentials, a couple of potential ones. All right, how about this one? MFC, that's me is playing some Dark Souls right now. Let's all say howdy to MFC, that's me. Make sure y'all post that raid message in the chat. It is highly appreciated when you do. I'll repost it right there so you can get it copied down or get ready to write it. Meatball Marauders are here to party. Now it's highly appreciated if you actually write that message into the chat. It shows that you're coming in with the raid. It shows you're representing the community. It's always appreciated when you do it, partners. Now I will see y'all next time. We have two more video game streams coming up later today and one secret stream if you can find it. Until then, partners, bye-bye. Thank you.